Good morning, everyone. Hope everyone's having a great Sunday. I'm here with a couple items to share with you today. First of all, I'd like to do a little shout out for an Etsy store. Her name is Caitlin, and she makes these a beautiful book charms. Isn't that beautiful? Made from clay. Very well made. Love her work. I want to show you her business card. It's This is her card right here. Her name is Caitlin. She, I believe she is on, yeah, on Instagram also. She's from San Antonio. Please check her out, you guys, and support her. She's a young lady, a student, trying to make ends meet in the times that we're living in. And she makes these beautiful book charms. And I told her that I would help her out, spread the word about her little shop. And maybe we all can, you know, go check her out. See if you like anything there. She makes jewelry also. Fantastic, fantastic work. So, Caitlin, thank you so much. I hope this beautiful community comes out and shows you some love and care there and some support. I also like to show you guys this little journal I made from some fabric scraps. It's one signature. I sewed all around it. It's just really beautiful texture. It feels great in the hand. It's, uh, I don't know, it's about um, five by eight, maybe. Yep five by eight and I just wanted to go by it real quick a little lace pocket with a little tag here get uh, have some of my own papers with some lace on the edge and every page has a place to write a place to tuck I use map pages little bag here that has a tuck right here let's see if I can get to it mm -hmm. right there you put in a pocket on top and then a tuck here, a tuck here with some of my own pressed flowers. Really fun to use all these little scraps of paper and put them all in one spot. And um, what I took one of these flashcards and I always cover them in napkins. You know how sometimes you have odds and ends of napkins and you want to use them up and not waste them? So I just, just put them on these cards, back it up with some of this paper, a little tag, Really fun to use up. A calendar page, some of my paper here with a, a lace end, and another tuck spot, a place to write, a tuck spot here. Everything's been sewn around. There's several tuck spots. I find that when you have secret places to put in little items, it just makes it that much fun when you go back to a journal and start flipping through and you go into a little tuck spot and you find a little gem, like a picture, a note, something tucked away from the days gone by and so really fun one of my papers here a tag behind a doily with the lace on the end another spot here's a tuck spot a belly band on an index card where you can journal this was just a scrap piece of paper didn't know quite what to do with it but I knew I didn't want to throw it away you know as scrappers right another book uh, a tag here, put some of uh, this book paper here. Well, it's column paper, but you guys know. And then uh, obviously it's a tuck spot, but also a little secret one right here. Coffee dye paper, a lot of sewing, quite a few tuck spots. Love it. Really fun. Another one of my papers calendar page, Sears Roebuck catalog, catalog page, and this is original, not a print. One of my mom's doilies I took a picture of because I think my sister ended up taking that particular doily, so I took a picture of it before she took it away. <laughs> there you go. Love graph paper. Another picture of a beautiful uh, table runner my mom had. Graph paper that is a center of the signature and it's also made into a pocket. Tuck spot there. Calendar page on the other side with these beautiful birds. Now this one right here is the other side of that pocket and what I did here was I bent back the corner. 
I did all the sewing on all the pages, but when you open it up, it's a tuck spot. I also made it magnetic so it can stay shut. And uh, it's also another tuck spot here. Some of my dried flowers. And I sewed this background page here. And this is also a tuck spot. So for one piece of paper, how many times can you fold it over and make certain things? Well, here's another spot right in this area here. So it's all usable. See, there's a pocket right here. There's a pocket back here. And a pocket back here. Really fun. Coffee dot paper on the other side. Another one of these pockets. A little pocket here. Tuck spot here. And one here. On my last video, I said, oh, I'm going to stay quiet, and I just will flip through. A second later, I started to talk. I think I'm not going to do that again because I got some nasty e uh, comments about that. So, gosh, people just can't help themselves. Anyway, trolls, right? Mm -hmm. Beautiful bird. Love these calendars. Great way to upcycle them. This pocket I lay right open because sometimes when I'm doing a journal, I have paper that is bigger than the pocket and it hangs out just a little. So I thought this one can stay open. But whoever gets this, if you want to seal it up, you can. This is on the top spot here. Pocket here. And another lace pocket here. And this was made with uh, watercolor paper and some scraps of, of fabric that I have in my stash. So I'll be choosing a winner for this um, next week. So hang on to that and stay tuned. Please uh, share, subscribe, and like. And make sure you leave a comment on this video because on every video I will be picking winners. I won't be putting that in my titles because, like I said earlier, I don't want to attract any trolls like I normally do. <laughs> All right, you guys. So last um, Sunday, you guys went over and checked out Nat Williams' um, channel. And this is Nat Williams. Thank you to everyone who went over, subscribed, and commented on her uh, channel. You guys put her over a 1,000, and that's fantastic because, as you know, when you get over a 1,000 subscribers, you get uh, more... I don't know if it's like benefits per se through YouTube and the algorithm picks you up and shows you throughout the world. Uh, it's sad that YouTube does that, but under a thousand, the exposure is much less. So Nat, congratulations. She has a fantastic channel. But on this particular video that's dated 1223, this is the title of her video. The winner of that uh, winner of that box is going to be Pam at Pam's Paper Place. This is her channel. Go check her out. So congratulations, Pam, for stopping by and subscribing to Nat's channel. She will be getting a grab box full of fun goodies. So Pam, please uh, uh, email me at craftyirena at gmail.com and I just need your mailing address. Now earlier in the week, I said that if you guys watch my videos as a thank you and not just by saying your name and, and on video and I just I do want to thank everyone who does stop by views my videos likes please be a subscriber because that's the only way to win but when you comment on my videos from now on I will be pulling one a commenter per video and so I went back as far as the first one I did was on 12 one my video was titled little golden book journal and the winner of that is Junk Journals with Gina B. So Gina, please uh, email me at craftyirena at gmail.com and I'll be sending you a little surprise packet. So Gina, thank you so much for watching, commenting, and subscribing. The next video I did was Junk Journal Gem Items. It was dated 1214 and Leslie Broomfield is the winner. So Leslie, please G uh, email me your address and I will get you a little package out. And thank you so much, everyone, for watching that video. Loved it that you guys came over and checked it out. And uh, I, I still have quite a few Junk Journal Gem items left. They're $80 PayPal, US only. And now I'm gearing up to make them into the Valentine's items in the box. So that's gonna be a lot of fun. 
Now the next video that I did was uh, right after Christmas and it was called the Junk Journal Gem Box Winner Announced. That's the name of the video. It was dated 1226. And the winner of that video was Meg at Art Therapy with Mama Megs. So Meg, thank you so much. Congratulations. Please email me your mailing address so I can send you off a thank you package. And thank you everyone for viewing that video. Now the last one, no, I have a couple more I think, yes. My video on 1227, which was labeled Junk Journal Golden Book Share. Thank you so much everyone for watching that video, commenting, liking, and subscribing. It's Tina at Tell Him Thank You. So Tina, thank you so much. You're such a sweet supporter. She has just been so loyal to me and my channel as you all have been, but I just would like to physically show you how thankful I am. So Tina, please email me your address and you guys go check her out, her channel also. She has fantastic, fantastic work as all these ladies do. And the last one is my glue book collage my way. That's the title of my video. I put it up on 12, 28, 2020. And the winner of that commenter was Missy B. So Missy B, please uh, email me your mailing address so I can send you a little thank you package. Thank you so much everyone for uh, checking out all my videos, especially this one. Uh, anyone who comments, likes, and subscribes to this video, um, you kind of have to be a subscriber because quite a few people were picked and they were not subscribers. So make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and like and then comment. And uh, I'll be picking another winner for this video. And from all the videos I do post, I will be choosing winners. As a thank you for stopping by, viewing your loyal uh, viewership. And I really appreciate your support of me and my channel. So I think I went through everything. Please go check out Mo Clay, Caitlin, and check out her uh, jewelry making and clay work. And this charm is just fantastic, don't you think? A wonderful addition on any journal. I know she would appreciate your support there. She's very well priced, and she turns around and makes them at, and um, sends them out quite quickly. It came in this beautiful little package wrapped in this awesome tissue. So, you know, with us junk journalers, we can reuse this. Absolutely, we'll be reusing this. And I just love her card. And she also sent a little card with a thank you. Isn't that beautiful? So, check her out, you guys. I know she'll appreciate it. Let her know I sent you. Just tell her Irene at Crafty Irina, and she'll take good care of you. All right, everyone, thank you so much for stopping by. Please like and comment and subscribe to my channel. I will be doing a little giveaway for this little journal. If you're interested, comment down below. Have a great Sunday, you guys, and I'll be back with another video. Take good care. Bye-bye.